I apply to study at Cambridge, Durham, Bristol, Bath and Sheffield and in this video I'm going to talk about the offers I got. Because I did a really weird combination of A-levels I also got a really weird set of offers. If you're new here, hello my name is Ilya and I'm a student at the University of Cambridge and I make videos that can help you applying to Oxbridge, A-level studying, all that kind of stuff. And for this video there's timestamps in the description. Okay so I applied to study biology at all the universities I applied for except for Cambridge because at Cambridge they don't offer biology instead they offer natural sciences which is what I applied for. You might have noticed I didn't apply to any London universities like Imperial or UCL and that's just because I didn't want to study in a big city as a student. Anyway I sent my UCAS application off on the 12th of October 2017. That's quite early and that's just because of the UCAS application deadline for applying to Oxbridge and then a few weeks later I got my first offer. My offer won't really make sense if you don't know which A-levels I did. I've made a whole other video where I go through the A-levels I did and the grades I got, but in summary I did maths and Dutch in year 12 and in year 13 I did chemistry, biology and further maths. For the Dutch and maths A-levels I did in year 12 I got an A-star in both, but the A-star in maths hadn't been cashed in yet so technically it didn't count even though I I had the grades for it. So the first offer I got was from Sheffield on the 27th of October and it was I get A level grades A, B including biology and a science subjects in future exams, proof of my star in Dutch and if I accept the offer it will become B in a B. If I get a B in my extended project qualification which is my EPQ just like a project I did in year 12. So my offer was an A and a B or a B and a B if I got a B in my EPQ. This didn't take into account my maths A level which I had done already so essentially my offer was a B. It was quite comforting that my offer was essentially a B because if I'd bombed my A levels I could still get into a good university with just a B in year 13. So that was Sheffield. The next uni I heard back from was Bristol and Bristol's offer was A level grades A, B in any of my A levels and that was it, just an A and a B and because I've done maths already it was essentially just a B again. The same offer although they didn't take into account my EPQ. And it's interesting I'm applying for biology at Bristol but I didn't even need to get any grade in biology A level to get in. I could have just done maths and further maths and Dutch and I still would have got in. And then the next uni was on the 27th of October which was Bath. The Bath was offering me triple A or A star AB in three A levels including A in biology and an A in a second science or maths. So they don't care about my APQ and I don't think they are counting my Dutch A level because otherwise they would have reduced the offer. So this was at the time the highest offer I'd got because I'd done maths already, my offer was essentially an A and a B, which was still quite nice. And then the offer I got after that was from Durham. Now this offer really pissed me off because it just doesn't make sense. I'll read it out loud as much as I can. This offer is subject to you obtaining GCE A-level grades AAA in Biology, Chemistry A, Pure Maths, Dot and Statistics. Applicants take... It just just really pisses me off because it just doesn't even make grammatical sense. Okay, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and copy it and then correct it. This offer is subject to you obtaining GCE A-level grades AAA in biology, comma, chemistry, comma. I don't know why it says A if that means, I, I'm just going to delete this. A and pure maths and statistics. Okay, I have no idea what pure maths and statistics is and that's why I emailed Durham saying quote unquote what the hell is this and they got back to me being like sorry yes you're right that doesn't make sense and then when they got back to me they reduced my offer. So my offer went from triple A down to just AA in any of my A-levels except for Dutch which is interesting because at first they didn't count my Dutch A-level and then when I complained saying what does pure maths and statistics mean they were like okay we'll count your Dutch A-level. It's just it doesn't make sense. 
And just like my other university, I don't even need to do well in biology, A-level to study biology at uni. I could just do well in maths and further maths or chemistry and still get in. But anyway, um, this is my offer, double A from Durham. And because I'd done maths in year 12, it was essentially just one single A, which again is quite nice. Now, the next offer I got was on the 12th of January, and this was from Cambridge. Unlike my other university applications, I needed to do an interview, an entrance exam. It was quite a lot and like a whole extra application form. By the way, if you want advice to applying to Cambridge or Oxford, check out my other videos. They are very helpful. But anyway, I got an offer from Cambridge, as you might have guessed based on what most of my channel is about. And the offer I got was A star, A star, A, A. Two A stars and two A's, which is quite standard for people who do four A levels. From this offer, it wasn't clear to me whether they would count Dutch and it wasn't clear if I needed to get the A stars in certain subjects so I just sent an email to clarify and they replied saying Dutch won't count because you've completed it already which is interesting so they that implies they would have counted it if I'd done it in year 13 but maybe they would have not counted it anyway which is fair enough it's really not relevant to my degree and they also said that the A stars can be in any subject so my offer was two A stars two A's but because I'd done maths in year 12 and got the A star it was essentially A star a, A. Again, this is for Cambridge quite a nice offer because most people who apply to Cambridge get a 2A star and an A offer if they're applying for my course. So to have an A star A A offer was quite nice. And finally, the last offer I got was from... Wait, no. Anyway, those are all the offers I got from the universities I applied for. I hope this video somehow helps you. If you want help with applying to Oxbridge or unis in general or A-levels or any of that kind of stuff, maybe check out the rest of my channel and if you have any questions, comment them below and if you subscribe, I'll get back to you very soon. Thanks for watching.